Well, here's a question we get asked a lot, and that is when using the ledger lock to attach the deck ledger to the rim board of the house, what's the correct fastening pattern? Well, here's the answer. <laughs> Well, before we talk about the specific fastening pattern of a ledger lock, let's first talk more generally about what a ledger to rim connection looks like. First, you've got your pressure treated, in this case, southern yellow pine for the east coast, and we've got OSB, half inch to three quarter sheathing for the outside of your house. You're fastening the ledger through the OSB into one of two materials usually, either two by traditional nominal wood as a rim board, or this new engineered wood product that can be of varying thicknesses between an inch and an inch and a quarter. Traditionally, the connection between a ledger and a rim board is made with a lag screw, typically half inch, hot dip galvanized, and always with a washer behind the underside of that head. Well, in order to do this to code, you need to pre-drill, not once, but twice. First, you have to pre-drill out the minor or the narrowest diameter on this fastener with a half inch that works out to be a 3 8 inch drill bit for the full length of this fastener. The second drill is a half inch drill bit for the upper part or the shank. That shoulder needs to be cleared out so it's not compressing the ledger board and maybe causing a split. Those are the two steps before installing the lag screw. Now let's talk about the ledger lock, a screw specifically designed for this application. No pre-drilling required and there's a washer already part of its design. Using that standard drill, install the ledger lock all the way until that washer comes firm up against the ledger. No pre-drilling, you're done. Well, you've just installed your ledger lock. One thing to note is that the fastening pattern is very specific. We want to see that W pattern. One high, one low, all the way across the ledger. When we're talking about the specific fastening pattern for your deck, Let's refer to our technical bulletin. The technical bulletin covers a lot of material critical in making this connection code compliant. Most importantly is table one on the back of the bulletin. It gives you the exact pattern already calculated for your specific deck. For example, you have a 40 pounds per square foot live load requirement in your area, and you've got a seven foot span between the ledger and the first supporting beam. Follow that over, that's nine inches between fasteners. That is your fastening pattern. Well, you asked us how to properly connect this using the ledger lock. We covered it all in the technical bulletin. Keep in mind, again, your minimum edge and end distances, as well that W pattern, and that it's fully ACQ approved. So you asked the question, we've answered it, but if you have any further questions, always feel free to contact us at fastenmaster.com or give us a ring and ask for our technical team.